inside front cover and add from Yesu our index which I'll zoom in so you can get an idea as to what's in it. The contents are divided into general, technical and columns. Each issue starts out with the editorial which is also on the WIA website. Then there's the board comment on WIA administrative matters, an article on the history of amateur radio magazine, adverts from JCAR including a receiver which I've reviewed in a video and also in a later issue of Amateur Radio Magazine, the AR1780, and some test equipment. A good introductory article on experiences in one of the major DX contests. An advert from Future Systems, one of the new advertisers in the magazine. Experiences on DX and tourism. The Boat Anchor Shop, hamradiohouse.com. You can even get valves. A 6BE6 is $8.50. And also 40 microhenry inductors. That could be good if you're building a linear amplifier or antenna coupler. A construction project, a duplexer for 2 meters. Goes into quite a lot of detail. And is great if you're building a repeater. ZS6BKW, a article by Chris VK2ACD, and that antenna is like a G5RV, but it's been optimised, and I believe it gives you slightly better performance. Anyway, there's some good constructional information here. This would be good for a beginner wanting a simple multiband antenna. Quite a lot of detail here. A ferry contest in Sydney. The first of our columns on VHF, the frequencies above 30 megahertz, EMDRC Hamfest. I'll be going to that next weekend, one of our local Hamfests here in Melbourne. We're quite lucky, we've got probably about six or seven of them a year. VHF column, talk about digital modes and phase lock loops. Um, AMSAT in VK. There's summits of the air, national parks on the air, all sorts of things including mills on the air. Uh, DX column, contests, uh, interview with uh, one of the top contesters. Some great antennas that we aspire to but few of us will ever get. John Moore Field Day contest this weekend, I'd better start preparing for it. Soda and Parks, that's been really popular, a lot of people out. Then we get to the state notes, first of all VK2, then VK5, which is South Australia. Um, this is one of the ha other ham fests in Melbourne, which has just gone. VK3, VK6, and VK7. So uh, this has a lot of the news from the various radio clubs around. Rather provocative article, should we close the QSL bureaus? But the article goes on about how the QSL bureau works and how you can take advantage of it. Communication with the space station. Digital modes, letters to the editor. Antenna elevator type mast. And then at the end, some smaller adverts. Um, another ad on the Flex Radio, and then finally we've got an ad from ICOM. So if you've always been curious, that's our look at our national amateur radio magazine in Australia. If you want to read books about particular topics of amateur radio, I've got four titles out. Getting Back Into Amateur Radio, 99 Things You Can Do With Amateur Radio, Minimum QRP, and Hand Carried QRP Antennas. You can find out more about them on my website, vk3ye.com, or you can search their titles in Amazon.